you gone so far so because my theme is kind of cyberpunky i've gone for um almost maybe downtown coruscant or blade runner you know he's getting his noodles so this is the start of uh the bar uh it's closed at the moment because you can't get in the door uh but this is gonna have two levels and like a canopy so like a seating area um and lots of neon and everything uh this is gonna be like a noodle bar Excellent. Um, and I even need to I've got some like a precision thing with some uh, bits and bits and bobs on it, bottles and stuff. So I'm going to find somewhere to put that as well. And that's from the Dead Zone booster, isn't it? That's from Dead Zone booster. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So I've used the uh, what have I used? Industrial Zone and the Dead Zone booster. It was basically like a downtown grimy, you know, uh, almost like shanty town bar type area. Yeah. So, uh, yes, yeah, going right so far. I've managed to glue myself nine thousand times to the terrain. <laughs> So there's more fingerprints on the train than there is on the house. <laughs> so we'll know whose is yours just by the DNA. Yeah, so good 35 minutes into it so far, so I think I'm doing all right. Excellent. Hello. How far are you, uh, you along, Dan? It's going quite well. I started off building everything in individual pieces in my head, trying to work out how they were all going to fit together afterwards, and it's mostly working. So I'm doing a like a desert market, space porty kind of town. Mm -hmm. uh, wretched hive of scum and villainy. See what you did there? Yeah, so we'll have some little kind of market stalls underneath using the canopies from the uh, Battle Zone accessories yep. set. And then there will be some little kind of flats above, and I'll have a little set of stairs going up to them. Got some outbuildings, some little bridges. Martin's been doing that all morning. <laughs> and, uh, and then you'll also be able to get into the back, so I'm going to have kind of some low, low barriers along the side. Um, so you'll be able to move figures in and out and have little skirmishes and little running battles. So Fantastic. Should be good. Yeah. So lots of multi-levels, lots of ways in and out. That's the plan. And then I'll see what I've left over and do some little outbuildings and market stalls. So Brilliant. We'll see how we go. Staircases and places to hide. Excellent. It's currently looking like a beautiful grey cake. Well, when we're finished. <laughs> <laughs> it was a compliment, not, not, not an insult. Well, we've got some carrot cake in the, uh, in the fridge. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. Oh, no one likes carrot cake. I love oh. carrot cake. Carrot cake is the best cake. That was outvoted three to one very quickly, that wasn't it? <laughs> So how tall do you reckon it's going to be in the end then? Well, I typically like to go about eight levels high on most buildings I build. <laughs> <laughs> so only only one or two over the top. Maybe about there. Yeah. <laughs> Platforms. Big spiral staircase around the outside, that sort of idea. Yeah, that is the idea. So the staircase will come up to here, then there'll be a platform area to fight here. Yep. Another staircase will then be here. And you went another platform, and the staircase will just keep going up. Yeah. Um, it's a fully closed structure, so basically you can fight all around the outside. Mm -hmm. Easy to see, easy to play. Excellent. And uh, you can see it actually fits almost in the centre of a dead zone board. Yeah. So the idea that I've always wanted to build a board with a central complex mm -hmm. with a spire with lots and lots of platforms, so it's good for Necromunda, good for dead zone. Yeah. And then around this bit, there'll be a walled interior prison. Okay. Complex. Yeah. Brilliant. So this is like the main hive. Yeah. If you've watched Guardians of the Galaxy 2, 
where they're stuck on that prison. Yeah. And there's a central pillar. Yeah. And then all the prisons around the outside. Mm -hmm. it's Much the, like it's that. The, yeah. A bit, a bit of a sort of dread feel to it as well. That big tower complex. Yeah. yeah. Excellent. How's it going, Johnny? Getting there. So I've built a lot of 2D stuff that I'm now actually building into layers. So it's going to be a oil rig for uh, Dead Zone or for Necromunda. That sort of uh, idea of fighting around it. Yeah. Um, so I've got a second platform here that will be on there, and then I'll have some towers going through the middle, or, or at least on the higher sections, and they'll all be attached with these uh, supports. I've got the base now with pipe work, that's, uh, that's fairly solid now, um, and I think it, like, on a neoprene uh, ocean map from Armada it'll look really cool as like a, a water world sort of oil rig. Ace, so, yeah, yeah. you confident in the time? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it should be alright. <laughs> one. Alright. So, so to get the, uh, the bulk of the structure finished and, and then we might have to do some fine detail, like putting bits of scatter on and that sort of thing later down the line, but yeah. Magnifique! Yeah. See you in a bit. <laughs> Looking good, Dan. How's it going? Thank you. Uh, yeah, it's coming along okay. I've, I've finished my central building now, so I'm going to do some, some outbuildings. So this is our little kind of market area underneath, a little bit of living space up the top, a little bit of shade up on the top, and you can see we've got a uh, central fans and pipes and all those kind of gubbins. And just yeah. like a, a sun terrace at the top. Yeah, but I think so. Yeah. <laughs> it's, uh, but yeah, that's coming together, so now I need to work out how to do some little kind of bridges and outbuildings and a bit of scattered terrain, so that's coming up next. Excellent. How's the progress going, Martin? Uh, good, yeah, I've glued my fingers together 18,000 times, so I'm now more glued than man. Excellent. Um, but the build itself is going okay. Very good. I'm now on building number three, the other one's just outside in the hot sun curing. <laughs> all the super glue that I've put on that as well. Is uh, there more super glue on you or on the models? Oh, uh, 50 50. Right. Okay. Uh, so, this is the third eatery. I'm not sure what, you know, whatever you want to, whatever you want. What do you want? What do you want? Do you want, do you want, do you want pizza? What do you want? <laughs> futuristic I'd quite like some pasta. Do you want some futuristic oh. pasta? Yeah. So pasta it is. So it's a pasta bar uh, in the future. And it's not necessarily made out of wheat and yeah, that kind of thing. Like made out of, I don't know, rat. Or some sort of spacey, gluten-free alternative. Most things are probably been made from space rat. Okay. So, uh, you know, space rat kebab. And then space wrap noodles on this side. Fantastic. So it's all about the space wrap. <laughs> but yeah, it's going well. Uh, sorry about my uh, uh, yeah, tangent. Uh, yeah, so basic structure is nearly done. I've got to do the second level on here, and then I can start adding details and random stuff and bits and pieces. So, brilliant. Okay. What, what level are you on now, Clive? You you up to eight yet? I've done one, two, three. So I'm working into level four now. Yeah. And I might steal, beg, borrow, or run to the warehouse and find some more stairs. <laughs> no space rat. <laughs> no, rat free zone. <laughs> it's looking fantastic so far. And all, all the all the levels are glued together, aren't they? So yes, uh, it's, nicely, it's pretty structurally solid. It's pretty solid. Oh yeah, that's awesome. Brilliant. How you going on? Getting there. So I've now got quite a bit more three dimension to it from the last time uh -huh. you, uh, you had a nosy. The idea is that this next level will go up here and obviously it'll have struts and things to support it the whole way around and then whatever other building sort of pieces I have left will be on top. Um, so you've got the sort of the, the, work, the, the working areas down here and then a bit more sort of office blocky sort of uh, top end. Uh -huh. And I'll just keep going as tall as I can until I run out of pieces basically. Nice one. You know how you said earlier, or well, I joked earlier that it wasn't a competition. Mm -hmm. I am now looking at what bits I have left in my go and make my tour wide. <laughs> <laughs> Mine's wide as well as tall. Okay, so coming into the home straight, how are you getting on Martin? Right there mate. So three structures done. Give you another quick over the shoulder action. Uh, so we've got the ramshackle, um, I'm guessing some kind of seafood rat, space rat, seafood <laughs> yeah, rat. Those eight-legged space rats, Space yep. rat. Uh, 
Um, we've got the uh, yeah, deli, maybe. Or, yeah. Uh, or, or a bar, you've got all the, well, the no, bottles this on is the, the front. Bar. Oh, okay. you know, there's only one bar in my town. Right. You know, if there's two, there's competition. Yeah, you've got the and monopoly. They'll, they'll all fall out. So, yeah, we've got the, uh, the bar. This is where they, they brew all the cool stuff. Oh, yeah, lovely. Uh, space Rat yep. beer. Yep, yep. Uh, there's kind of grounds That's down there. Nice, Should be in, chop them up, feed them into this. Oh, I thought this. that was the air conditioning. I no, thought no, it was no, air conditioning bar. That's the Space Rat right, grinder. Okay. And then it comes into bruise, and then they said it was closed at the moment. Health and safety, you know, you've got to make sure they clean up the plates. Yeah, yeah. Um, bit of uh, bit of lighting, so I can do some cheeky OSL with the airbrush. And yeah, it's going to be nice and space ratty. Excellent. You know what it's going to be called? Go on. The space rat. Yep. <laughs> How are we doing? Doing alright, yeah. It's uh, got some nice height to it now, so I'm just working on, I've still got some of these extra pieces left, so I'm just gonna see how big I can keep making a, another tower along here. Might be able to get another walkway in, I'm not sure. Um, got a helipad now, so I've still managed to put some landing pad in with using the landing pad sets. Um, I've got a walkway down to the water now, um, so you've got access from the sky and from the sea onto the, the oil rig. Uh -huh. um, and then I just need to put walkways and, and ladders and that sort of thing throughout so that you've got access to each level yeah um, that's the next sort of plan and then just filling in the detail with all the, like the extra bits of piping and that sort of thing but from the industrial accessories just to make it look a bit more oil riggy so, yeah, brilliant that's sidetracked by making a cool walkway uh, i imagine there'll be lava and stuff here yeah and they're shielded so that's you know i'm going for that kind of theme here brilliant and then there'll be another layer up on here so i get one more kind of rooftop level going and then round this side there's a nice little ramp oh yeah just see that over your shoulder without you having to move and break too much and break it <laughs> this bit's a bit awkward but you know it's because those feet raise it up just enough it lifts it over. yeah so it's no, that's great that walkway is really cool like, nice. Like yeah Nice use of the triangle on the end, just gives it something a bit different. Yeah, it? I think it'd be a little viewing end. point to watch the lava destroy everything else. And, oh yeah. You, know, you got two heroes screaming at each other. That's where Leonardo and, and Leonardo DiCaprio and Kate Winslet are. <laughs> <laughs> that was going more Anakin looking brooding. <laughs> yeah. Fantastic. Dan, how are we getting on? Yeah, we're just about done. Come yeah. Oh, lovely. So we've got a little kind of market uh, residential bit here. Yeah. Got a little kind of storage unit and some walkways. Uh, this, I think, is going to be for livestock, so we'll probably have some oh, yeah. beastie well, little in little here pig of, pen. Some, of some kind. Of nice. Oh, no, no, bigger, furrier, nastier. But giant space pig rats. Yeah. Probably, yeah. <laughs> um, something's gone wrong here. I haven't worked out. I might put something in the middle just because I've still got time. Um, and then we've just got another little uh, like stand and shack on the side. Yeah, so some nice outbuildings so and other I'm bits thinking of. Thinking for a little kind of uh, little kind of skirmish game. Actually, we've got yeah nice little layout taking place now. Looks fantastic. So good stuff.